If you remember what we just said, is that the lower the Gleason number, the more the adenocarcinoma cells resemble normal prostate. Then a high Gleason number would be an adenocarcinoma in which the cells do not look like normal prostate. The problem is, in this particular uh, piece of prostate tumor, there is no normal prostate. This is all cancer. So you're going to have to remember again from the last couple of cases what a normal uh, gland should look like. Notice there is very little attempt at glandular formation. Notice there's almost a papillary type uh, structure here. Notice once again these glands are poorly differentiated, haphazard, irregularly invading the surrounding tissue. But also, especially with prostate, notice once again that almost all of these cells have nucleoli. Look at this. Almost every cell there has a good size nucleoli. For some reason, the presence of nucleoli in many prostate glandular cells uh, absolutely certifies the fact that it's a malignancy because in normal or hyperplastic cells, you do not see too many nucleoli. But look at almost every cell here does. But you don't need to look at nucleoli. All you have to do is back up and look at the fact that these glands are not at all forming nice little prostate structures. And they are just irregularly infiltrating all over the place. And they are so poorly differentiated. They're hardly forming glandular structures out here. Another thing you could notice is that here's the capsule of the prostate because uh, beyond that is just your normal connective tissue, nerves, blood vessels. And I want to point something out here. You see these nerves? Uh, sometimes when you're looking at a very, very difficult prostate, the only way you could tell that it's cancer is that there's little glands surrounding the nerve in this little perineural space here. This nerve doesn't have glands, but the one thing that pathologists always do is look at these little nerves that surround the prostate uh, beyond the capsule in the fat, and if they have little tumor cells like you see here in the capsule, they call it perineural invasion. Thank you very much.